Good day. Today I'm going to show you how to use the XTEC LT300 light meter. I don't represent the company. I just borrowed this from a friend and I'd like to make a little video on how to use it. So let's start with the sensor, which is on this little device here. It's got a protective cover. And when you take that off, you can see a translucent hemisphere there, which is um, protects the sensor itself. So when you're not using uh, the sensor, it's good to have the cap on, then it won't get dirty or scratched, which would affect the measurement. It's attached to the meter itself uh, by a curly cord, which is permanently attached at the top, and it stretches about 50 uh, centimeters or so. The meter itself is ruggedized. It's got this uh, orange kind of protective covering. Um, I would say, I wouldn't say it's waterproof. Uh, it, you might say it's mildly weatherproof, uh, but I wouldn't leave it out in the rain, but uh, it seems fairly nicely constructed. On the back here, there's a socket for a standard quarter inch tripod if you wanna keep this off the ground um, using a tripod. This is the cover for the battery compartment. It takes a nine volt battery. Uh, I would use an, a lithium battery for length, uh, you know, for um, long life. Uh, in order to change the battery, you need a small Phillips head screwdriver. So running the XTEC LT300 light meter is very simple. Uh, the controls are very uh, straightforward. Uh, the CE here on the body, uh, all that, that's a certification that you won't harm yourself while operating this uh, unit. So let's start with the on off switch, which is a screen button. So it turns on and quite often it shows this overload uh, state, which means that the meter is set to a very sensitive level and the incident light is too high to read. So what you need to do is use this red range button and increase it until you get a sensible reading. So it's showing about 270 lux here. Uh, and if we press this hold button here, it'll freeze the number so that you can write it down, move the meter around. The, low, the battery light is here so you know when your battery is getting low. Now, what is a lux? A lux is a measure of the uh, visual light intensity, the visible light intensity as seen by a healthy human eye. Uh, so it's a standardized number and it represents the, uh, the, the power per square meter of the visible um, light impinging on, uh, on the surface. Um, you, if you want to take a new reading, you just take a reset and it'll just start over. Um, here is a backlight. Uh, if you're in the dark and you can't read the meter, this will light it up from the back. Uh, you probably won't notice that here in, the, uh, in this uh, lighting. Right now it's showing 200 and about 270 Lux, I'm in my um, dining room uh, with the light coming in from the window and you probably can't see it, there's a decimal point there. It could be, that could be a bit bigger if you ask me. Um, these two buttons are units. So Lux is the system international unit and the other one is foot candle, uh, which is rarely used anymore, but it's there as an option. It looks like it's about a 10th of a Lux just comparing those roughly speaking, but we will use Lux. I'm not going to talk about these uh, buttons here. Um, there's, uh, there's a relative setting, a max min setting and a peak setting. You, you wouldn't need these uh, for your typical use, uh, but there is a very good manual in here. And if you read the manual, it'll, it tells you, it's a very clear manual and it, it only takes a few minutes to read and it'll tell you how to use those buttons. So that's about it. Um, that's how you use the meter. 
and now I'm going to show you a couple of live readings I took last night as uh, the sun set and, um, and it got dark outside. Uh, readings from my porch just to show you how you use it in practice. Okay, it's 20 minutes after sunset and uh, it's overcast and beginning to snow a little bit and there's a there's a street light over there that's illuminating things. I'm gonna take a measurement of the incident light. It's showing 2.75 lux and dropping. I'm not sure w whether it's supposed to be higher or lower than 2 20 minutes after after sunset when it's overcast. I would expect it to be lower than 2. Let's see what it's like underneath the porch lights. Beneath the porch there's an overhang. It's a lower, lower intensity, lower luminance, 1.65 and dropping. Let's see what happens when we put on the lights. This is just natural light. Let's put on the uh, porch lights and see what we get. Porch lights are on. I'm not sure what the wattage of those lights are. They're incandescent bulbs. They're certainly not 100. They might be 40 or 60. And the illuminance on the porch is almost 16 lux, 15.7, pretty steady. 